OK, so let's say I want to write each of these in sigma notation. So remember that what we're doing here is we're wanting to write them in this format. So we've got the sigma, we've got some nth term, and we're saying that n is going from some value up to another value. OK, and so this is the format that we want to write these in. So finding the nth term is the first thing that we're going to do. OK, so this first one, 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4, we can see that we're going down in ones each time. So we're going to have a minus n. So if I put the sigma sign here, OK, we're going to have a minus n. And how do we get from minus 1 back to 8? We've got to add on 9. OK, so you could write it as minus n plus 9 or 9 minus n. Probably nicer as 9 minus n. OK, now where are we starting? Well, we're going from n is 1, OK, because that's the first term that gets me the 8. And then I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, going up to the fifth term. OK, and so that is the succinct way of writing that series. Now for number two, we want the nth term first. So we appear to be going up in fives this time. So it'll be a 5n. And how do we get from five back to three? We've got to subtract two. So 5n minus two in front of the sigma. And we're going from the first term, n is one up to well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so up to the 6th term. 1, 4, 9, 16, these are the square numbers. OK, so these are the square numbers, n squared. OK, uh, that's going from n is 1 up to 4. OK, could really put an equal sign next to each of these. OK, now the number 4. Now, number four, um, be aware that we've got this sequence in the denominator, OK? So the, we've got 3, 7, 11, 15, 19. The numerators are all staying the same. So they're all one over. Now, the denominator, we appear to be going up in fours, OK? And how do we get from four back to three? We've got to subtract one. So 4n minus one. OK, so 1 over 4n minus 1 will generate the sequence. So that's going from n is 1 up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 terms. OK, now number 5, OK, now I've circled number 5 um, in red because it's a little bit harder because now it's exactly the same sequence that we got in uh, number four, but we've now got these minuses. So one third minus a seventh plus eleventh minus one fifteenth plus one nineteenth. So it'll look very similar to this one, okay? However, what we've got to take account of is uh, are those minus signs. Now, easiest way to do that is to have in the numerator a minus 1 to the power of something, OK? Because we know that minus 1 to the power of an odd number will be minus 1. Minus 1 to the power of an even number will be 1. And so as long as it is 1 when we have an odd number and minus 1 when we have an even number, number for the position, then we've got what we need. Now, because we want the first one, okay, one third, uh, when n is one, um, to be positive, if I just put n up here, when n is one, I'm going to get a minus one. So it can't just be n. Now, you could change that. You could change it to n minus one if you wanted to or n plus 1. Wouldn't really matter as long as you're one position along in either direction. So minus 1 to the power of n minus 1. So if we confirm it for this position here, for n is 4, 
So when n is 4, we get minus 1 to the power of 4 minus 1 over 4 lots of 4 minus 1. So minus 1 to the power of 3 is minus 1. 4 4s are 16, take away 1 is 15. So minus 1 15th. Okay, so that is the um, sigma notation that would go with that series for number 5. Now what you may notice is that in all of these cases, I've started from n is 1. Okay, now that doesn't have to be the case. Okay, so I could, for example, start with this, okay, looking at um, number 2 here. If I looked at number 2 and said that actually I want to start from n is 2, then I'd be going up to the um, seventh term here, okay? So let's say that this is the second term of the sequence, it's not the first anymore, okay? Now, 5n minus 2 still generates this sequence, but it's one behind from what I need, or one ahead. So I'm going to need an extra bit of instruction there to take one away from the n. So I could have n minus 1, and what did we have? We had take away 2, didn't we? Okay, because now what you've got so if you simplify that, 5n, we're going to have a minus 5 take away 2, so a minus 7. So 5n minus 7. So when n is 2, you get 10 take away 7, which makes the 3. When n is 3, you get 15 take away 7, which makes the 8. All the way up to when n is 7, you get 35 take away 7, which makes the 28. So that is precisely the same, has precisely the same value as we had before, and you could say completely describes that series as well. So what I'm saying here is that it's not um, necessarily the case that, um, that there is just one way of doing it, okay? There can be multiple ways of describing uh, a series using sigma notation. Okay? It's just that we naturally fell in to starting with n is 1 for each of them because really it's easier that way uh, because we're used to finding the nth term and we'd be starting from n is 1 thinking that that is always going to be my first term. Okay? But they can be described in different ways and you will get the same, um, the same value in series.